Hello, welcome to this tutorial. It's modular arithmetic, and uh, this is brought to you by Oninab Resources. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. So we start with a definition. Uh, this statement: A congruent to B mode C means b is the remainder when a is divided by c so in this case this is remainder arithmetic we can just call it remainder arithmetic we'll be dealing with division we're not interested in the quotient but only interested in the remainder so if a is divided by c the remainder will be b that's what this statement means so we can also write it as a is equal to c q plus b where q is an integer it is the quotient when you divide a by c like here now when you divide a by c the quotient is q here and the remainder is b so for example we can say 9 is equal to 3 mod 6 that is 9 is equal to 6 times 1 plus 3 so in this case if 9 is divided by 6 the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 3 so we need to note the following that modulo is shortened for mode and uh, the plural of modulus is moduli so like uh, for instance we are dealing with c so mod c here or modulus c we are talking about the modulus of c and uh, here in this course we shall use equality sign to mean congruent to not equivalent so we just use the quality sign for the purpose of this course. So let's go. The digits of moduli. So we have a first take the modulus of two. The digits you have there, they are zero and uh, one. We have digits here as zero and one. So you can have any other number, but in their simplest form should be either zero or one. In the same vein, the modulus 3, the digits are 0, 1, and 2. In modulus 4, the digits are 0, 1, 2, and 3. In general, modulus n has digits 0, 1, 2, up till n minus 1. So, we look at uh, equivalent moduli. For equivalent moduli, we have 9 and 16 leave the same remainder when divided by 7 so 9 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 2 the remainder is 2 16 divided by 7 is 2 remainder 2 so the remainder is also 2 when divided by the same number so we write that 9 is equal to 16 and is equal to 2 mode 7 so we now say the 9 and 16 are equivalent or equal modulo 7 so 9 and 16 are equal or equivalent modulo 7 we look at some examples here list any three equivalent numbers for each of the following moduli so we have the first one 3 mode 4, 5 mode 6, 1 mode 8, 7 mode 9, and 4 mode 5. So we start with the first one, 3 mode 4. To get the equivalent moduli here, the first one we add 4 to 3, that will give us 7. So we have it as 7 mode 4. That is 7 divided by 4 will leave the same remainder as 3. That's 7 divided by 
four now will give us one remainder three so we said they are equivalent at four again that will give us 11 mode four 11 divided by 4 gives 2 remainder 3. So it's still equivalent to 3. And lastly, we have 15 mode 4. 15 divided by 4 gives 3 remainder 4. So 3 is equivalent to 7, 11, and 15 mode 4. Only that 3 is in their simplest Four. Now we go to the second problem. 5 mode 6. Here to get the first equivalent modulus, we add 6 to 5. That will give us uh, 11 mode 6. 11 divided by 6 leaves a remainder 5. We add 6 to 11 again. That gives 17 mode 6. That's 17 divided by 6 leaves a remainder 5. So adding 6 again, we have a 23 mode 6. So we've gotten the three uh, numbers that are equivalent. The three equivalent uh, moduli of 5 mode 6 are 11 mode 6, 17 mode 6, and 23 mode 6. We go to the third problem. For the third problem, again, we add 8 to this one, which gives 9 mode 8. That's the first equivalent uh, modulus of uh, 1 mode 8. And uh, adding 8 to this again, we have 17 mode 8. And uh, adding 8 to 17, we have a uh, 25 mode 8. These are the three equivalent moduli of 1 mode 8. We go to problem four. Problem four, seven mode nine. To get the first equivalent modulus, we add a nine to seven. That gives 16 mode nine. Adding nine to 16 again, we have a 25 mode nine. Adding nine to 25, we have 34 mode nine. These again are the three equivalent moduli of 7 mode 9. And finally, problem 5. We have a 4 mode 5. The first equivalent modulus will be 5 plus 4. That gives 9 mode 5. Adding 5 to this again, I have 14 mode 5. 14 plus 5 again gives. 19 mode 5 so these are the three equivalent moduli of 4 mode 5 now we look at the simplest form of moduli the simplest form of moduli uh, reduce each of the following to its simplest form we have 60 mode 7 in modulus 7 the Digits we have are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and here we have 60. So we need to reduce it so that we the number falls within the digits of modulus 7. So we start with uh, A. So what we do is divide 60 by 7, that gives H remainder 4. So that is going to give us 60 is equal to 4 modulo 7. 60 is 4 modulo 7. This 4 modulo 7 is the simplest form of 60 mod 7. So we go to the second problem. 29 mod 4. Again, we say 29 divided by 4. That gives 7 remainder 1. So 29 will be 1 mode 4. This is the simplest form of 29 mode 4. Then we go to the third problem. 48 divided by 8 gives 5 remainder 5. That's 5 remainder 5. And uh, therefore, 
45 is equal to 5 mod 8 5 mod 8 then the fourth problem 79 mod 9 we divide 79 by 9 that gives 8 remainder 7 that's 72 8 remainder 7 so 79 is equal to 7 mode 9 so the simplest form of uh, 79 mode 9 is 7 mode 9 and finally the fifth problem 70 mode 5 that's 70 divided by 5 gives uh, 14 remainder 0 therefore 70 is equal to 0 mode 5 this is the end of the solution to simplest form of moduli so from here we go to negative numbers so here express each of the following moduli as a positive number in its simplest form so we have the negative uh, numbers starting with the first problem we are going to add a multiple of 5 which is just greater than 11 so that when added to this negative 11 gives a uh, positive so that's 15 mode 5 and uh, negative 11 plus 15 gives a uh, 4 mode 5 and the second problem is negative 5 mode 3 and uh, the multiple of 3 will add to negative 5 to give us positive number is 6 so we have negative 5 plus 6 mode 3 and that gives 1 mode 3 for the third problem negative 9 mode 4 um, the multiple of 4 that will be added to negative 9 to give positive is 12 so we have negative 9 plus 12 mode 4 negative 9 plus 12 gives uh, 3 mode 4 then we go to problem 4 negative 6 mode 6 uh, we add a 6 to to give us 0 that's uh, 0 mode 6 and finally problem 5 negative 35 mode 8 uh, multiple of 8 that is a uh, 40 so we have negative 35 plus 40 mode 8 that gives 5 mode 8 that is the end of the problem that is negative moduli and uh, invariably this is the end of this tutorial uh, until we come your way, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Oninab Resources, like and share this video. Goodbye.